what they go do with me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Can't hop out the. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brianna Imani, and you're tuned into another Talk of the Town interview. And we have a very special guest in the building today. Let them know who's here. Big Step Alani. Go cry to your mommy. Big What's Step Alani. Go cry to your mommy. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Thank you for coming by. I'm so excited to get to know yeah. you. Um, so before we get started, we're going to start off with a rapid fire, a round of rapid fire questions. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Just say the first thing that comes to mind, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Zodiac sign. How you First thing you ate today. Pizza. Oh, wait, no, steak. steak. Oh. No, wait, mango. A mango. <laughs> I ate a mango. Pizza, steak, mango. Nah, okay. everything I ate was a mango. Um, a cartoon character that's most like you. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Uh, favorite thing to do on a rainy day? Um, go out. Go out? You like to go out in the rain? Go to the city, yes. I hate going out in the rain. I hate the rain, but, like, I love outside, so. Oh, period. Okay. <laughs> um, a question that needs an answer. Oh, my gosh. This is too hard. Um, a question that needs an answer? Yeah. Why does everybody follow everybody else? Oh, that's team. Clock in. Um, one thing you would change about New York? Um, people's mindset in the living conditions. Mm. At what age are you considered old? Yo, probably like 26. No, oh, wait. damn! Wait, old? Damn, damn, damn! Nah, 28, 28, 28. Damn, I'm elderly, y'all. <laughs> no. 28 is old, for you're, real? You're over 26? Yeah. You lying. I am, and I saw I'm elderly. You're over 26? I'm over 26, yeah. You're over 30? No, I'm not over 30 oh. yet. Not too much. Not okay, too much. Okay, maybe like 28. Because <laughs> you're a millennial, so. Oh, damn. Um, <laughs> favorite slang word? Bro. One thing you can't go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> One thing you can't go a day without? Water. A hairstyle that you hate? Mohawks. Yeah, mohawks. Yeah. Oh, you see, this might be a, I might be aging myself a little. Have you seen people with the braided mohawks? Yes, I was about to say Okay, because that. that was, that was definitely a time people was getting the braided yeah. mohawks. Or probably them, like, oh. um, the high top fades people get, like high top fades, like the bald fade, and Ooh. just their dreads on, ew, stop. <laughs> it's 2024. Like. <laughs> okay. If you could spend 24 hours with anyone, but you had to take a 24-hour flight to get to them. Who would be worth the flight? Jesus, like, okay, a living person. Um, probably Oprah. Hmm. Some, Why Oprah? Some dab access. Okay, so she could put you on. Yeah, she could put me on for real. She could okay. put me on a show. Send some money on through, like. That's you know, so it'd be interesting. A win -win situation. Like, I'm not gonna fly 24 hours for nothing. Right. That's so interesting that you would say Oprah though. Like, I would think maybe it'd be like. <laughs> Somebody musically inclined, but Oprah do got that bag. Musically inclined, probably Beyonce. Mm, I would fly. Yeah, like I would take a 24-hour flight for Beyonce too. Oh, okay. um, for Nikki, absolutely. I don't know if yeah, that's what you I, just said. Absolutely, I, I would take that. a 48-hour <laughs> flight for Nikki. Um, rate. <laughs> <laughs> if I could spend 24 hours with Nikki, I would take a 48-hour flight. Like I feel like we would. 48. Be yeah, Ooh. I would. Yeah, I'm a barb down. Oh, okay. I love Nikki down. Like that was my first female rapper that like I really was like word for word by hard. Love her. That's good. A lot of people love her. Um, I don't know because you said Cardi right after. No, because I don't know. I feel like <laughs> our personalities like click a little okay. more. I don't know. Okay, Maybe that that's makes why. sense. Shout out to Cardi. Um, rate your year so far on a scale from one to ten. Rate my what? Your year so far on a scale from one to ten. Oh my year. Oh, it's a ten. I'm living. I'm blessed. I'm happy. You know, I'm here on Talk of the Town. Like, what more can go wrong? And we're so happy to have you here. So that's that's the end of our rapid fire. But Miss Big Stepalani, go cry to your mommy. Let's talk about that real quick. Okay. Where did you get that tagline from? Go cry to your mommy. Mm -hmm. Big Stepalani, go cry to your mommy. I don't know. I think one day I was like just freestyling in the car, and then um, they were recording me, and then all I heard was like, I mean, all I kept saying was like, Bitch up a go cry to your mommy, took on my brother, I'm catching a homie, Janet and Jibbe be like a tsunami. Like, yeah. those three those three lines, like, they always stuck with me. But then I just kept saying, Big up a go cry to your mommy, and then it just stuck, so, mm -hmm. from I freestyling. One of your freestyles that I saw, I think maybe it was the first, you had a black shirt on. Yeah. Is that the one you was talking about? 
Oh, um, it with was braids? Like you were, yeah, I think you had braids. And it was like you did, I think, maybe like two or three freestyles in the same, using a passenger seat in a car. With and you braids. had a cameraman that was going crazy. like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, braids in a black shirt? I don't know. Oh, okay. I think, I think, had, I think I know I think what you you're talking braids. about. I think you know what you're talking about. And that was the first time I heard you say it. And mm. I was like, oh, that's kind of catchy. Yeah, and ever and since then, I, said, I just yeah. kept saying it because everybody, I didn't think anything of it at first. Mm. But then, you know, like how artists need like a, um, intro like how to mm-hmm, see their names mm-hmm. like so yeah I just took that and ran with it because everybody else was saying it so yeah I, I like, like that better than like the yeah yeah uh-huh. it's your girl big stepper uh-huh. <laughs> like yeah you, you know, I right, right. Like, it, it, it adds personality and yeah. I feel like it fits your vibe thank you um so I noticed in your bio you have 718 but you know being from New York there's oh Brooklyn Queens Bronx 718 which 718 is Big Stepalani from? Okay, so I get this question like a million times. Every single time I do an interview, I get this question, right? Everybody wants to know what borough I'm from, da da da. So I decided to like. You don't be saying. That. Yes, I cannot say because once people like find out where you're from, like they just like categorize you and like stick you there. Like I don't want to be. You think that. so though? Yes, I want to be like global, like bigger than I. I For think- people that don't even know what a borough is in New York, like uh-huh. I just want to represent the whole New York City. But so. what about, like, for New Yorkers that want to say, like, yeah, she a Brooklyn girl. Yeah, we from Brooklyn. No, I'm, like, I'm a New York City girl. That's so, that's so big. Like, nah. Brooklyn, Brooklyn and Bronx. Give Where are you from? Vibes. Where are you from? I'm, 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 a, I'm a 718 girl, too. Okay. <laughs> so we both 718 girls. Like. I'm a 718 girl, too, but I, I was really interested because I feel like, not to place you in a category, but mm-hmm. I think it's interesting when, you know, you might see somebody and think like, oh, you might be from the Bronx. But mm-hmm. it's like, ah, got you. I'm actually from Queens. Where do like, you think I'm from? You give me Bronx. Everybody says, yo, <laughs> everybody says I give them Bronx girly. You vibes. give me Bronx. But like, if you were to say that you were from Queens, I would also be like, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you really want me to say? I mean, if you, if that's like your thing, if that's something that you're going to continue on, like, I'm not going to spoil it here. But I am very curious. I'm actually a camera. I won't spill, but I'm nah, very low key, like, okay, I want to keep this until I get like super, like Grammy famous, and I Grammy I'll t- famous. Yes, I yes, I promise, I say it. Nah, at my Grammy speech, I'm gonna be like, and shout out to man, <laughs> I know where you got some classmates. Some yo, where is Lonnie from? Yo, bro. <laughs> I feel like you, you go to school. Like I'm surprised that nobody is like, oh yeah. We oh no, school. people oh, like my my personal friends. Like yeah, they know where I'm from, but. But they, they keep that on the down. Yes. So you don't got no haters or nothing? Because I feel like a hater would say it real quick. <sighs> Babes, I do. Like, these people, bro, especially, like, my DMs, like, my requests and all of that. Like, mm-hmm. people really hate, like, for real. And, like, they, they leave, like, nasty comments. Like, sometimes I don't even care about comments for real. Mm-hmm. But when I look at them, I'll be like, I'm 15. Like, what are you talking about? And it'd be old, grown men. It'd be, like, 48-year-old men. Like, 50-year-old men. men, like, old men, just mad hate, like, haters. A man is going to man every time. Clearly, nothing changes with age when it comes yeah, to them. That's very unfortunate. Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> freedom, no. Freedom. freedom from the immaturity and all that. So What we could do is pray. What? So, <laughs> so when you get comments and like that, like, how do you regulate how much time you spend reading comments and DMs versus, like, what you don't pay no mind to? Oh, I don't read comments like that. Like, I, I might skim through it. Like, if I first post a video or a freestyle, like, I just, like, skim through it, like, see what people are saying, like, mm-hmm. if they jacket or not Mm. but I don't really read too in-depth comments you know everybody has their own opinion everybody's gonna say what they think and that's just them like Mm. I don't think I should stress over you know the little things in life like Mm. a comment on social media right that's not even real so right you know and I I heard you in one of your interviews you were talking like a few years back about Mm. your experience with bullying at one point Mm. and so I think that when you grow up, like, already dealing with that in real time, and, like, now everything is online, so you're kind of, like, getting adjusted to the cyberbullying and mm-hmm. everything. Like, you know how to handle that. With, with yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like your experience going through bullying, like, has helped you kind of, like, navigate what you're experiencing now? When it comes yeah, to I think it's, like, that and also, like, my past experiences, you know, like I said, like, with personal life and things like that. Like, I think those types of things make you a stronger person Mm -hmm. and you just have to know how to um keep a strong like head on your shoulders and like keep you know being yourself and doing what you do Mm -hmm. because you know things are like things are bound to happen you know I'm not saying like your life is going to be perfect you know 
nothing bad is gonna ever happen to you. But you have to know how to um, get yourself out of that situation and like keep moving forward and mm-hmm. get what you learn from it. So I think that's like it kind of helped like mm-hmm. a little bit. Of course, it hurt for like that period of time, but that's over and I'm here and now. now so. It's also your resilience in general, just Facts. bouncing back. So how do you keep your head up and keep your confidence? Because I mean, you are young and yeah. I mean, you're in that age where a lot of like teenagers, they're very like insecure yeah. and or like if they and have, yeah, there's like still figuring themselves out. So how are you so confident with who you are? Um, I think that has to do like with your foundation like who raised you and people that you're around Mm -hmm. and the way people talk to you like with words of affirmation or you know just how you think of yourself in general like I'm not saying I'm the most perfect teenager that I think of myself like like through the clouds and stuff like that but you definitely have to think about yourself in a high um like manner or high high perspective to a high regard yeah a high Mm -hmm. regards because I feel like you know, people are always going to, like, make others feel, like, so down and stuff like that, you know? But I think once you know who you are within yourself and you actually, like, believe yourself and love yourself, then really who could say something to you and who could change your mind? You a know? word. You just got to love yourself. Just drop the mic. Drop the mic right there because you that, that was a word. So <laughs> in talking about knowing yourself, let's get to know you a little bit more. So okay. it's undisclosed where you grew up. But what was growing up like for you in New York City? Oh, I love this city. Like, sometimes my mom try to be like, oh, I hate New York City. Like, it's so dirty, da da da. It's so, like, compact and blah blah. <laughs> no, but, mom are like. <laughs> yeah, but you know, where is that not? You know? Yeah. But I love New York City. Like, ever since I was a youngin', I've been, like, from place to place it's mad fun going to the city sometimes with my aunt or my cousins or Mm -hmm. just hanging out with my friends like even now just like going to the city hanging out with my friends like everything is easy access or even if it's just like chilling on the block or something like that Mm -hmm. I love it like I wouldn't I wouldn't change it unless I lived in like a huge mansion or something like that I would yeah definitely I always say that I want to live outside of New York just for a couple of years just to get the experience but everybody from New York City they go all the way to Atlanta for that yeah Atlanta is New York Atlanta Houston yeah now it's like DC Mm -hmm. Miami like the hot spots Mm-hmm. Because I feel like if you can make it in New York, honestly, you could really make it, make it anywhere. anywhere. So it's like trying to grab, like people, a lot of people gravitate to the cities that are closest to the busyness of yeah. New York. So that's why there's a lot yeah. of people there. Um, dang, I was, oh yeah, so you hang out. Where do y'all be hanging out now? Like, where, where are the young whippersnappers Oh, like you want out? actual spots or like, <laughs> you want actual spots or like just places? Like, I feel like all of us, well, me personally, like me and my friends, mm-hmm. I try to do actual things, not just, like, chill all day. Mm-hmm. So I, I, like, we, like, try to go to the city, like, um, mu- Museum of Ice Cream. Okay. Obviously going to the mall, obviously. That's just, like, teenage girl life. Like. What mall you go to? Mall? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, she, she's, she's, she's trying to get Park, my... You to Bay, Bay Park? I don't know what it's called, but... Uh, I go to a lot of malls. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, we go to the mall. We go to the park. Um, where else? Even if it's just like, oh, going shopping mm-hmm. on um, Canal Street. Okay. Yes, I love it. I like just like seeing the buildings and stuff mm-hmm. in the brick road. You know. I was talking. So wholesome. To, I was talking to um, another artist, Little Rich, not too long ago about like where we used to hang out. Mm-hmm. And like when we used to go outside, we used to be in like Eastern Parkway, mm-hmm. Atlantic Mall, mm-hmm. Times Square. We was in so wholesome. Oh, yeah. I, I used had, to go like, to Atlantic a lot. Um, oh, did you? Those days are retired. Okay. Oh, what are you trying to say? What are you, what are you trying to get I'm at? I'm trying to say Atlantic Mall. I know what borough that's in. Oh, it's okay. in Brooklyn, but you know, I'd be global with it. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so, when you were growing up, I know you have talked about um, listening to the artists that your mom was listening to as well. Mm-hmm. Um, who would you say were like your inspirations growing up? Okay, this is a question I get a lot, and I never know how to answer it because I always have like mad artists in my head, but I never know who exactly to say. So I wrote a list. <laughs> Let's see if I remember. So growing up, um, I didn't, my mom's not really a big music listener, mm-hmm. but my dad is, like he actually used to rap. But um, some people that I would listen to growing up, I actually listened to a lot of things. Um, I remember a lot of Lauren Hill, um, just like anybody from back in the day, Destiny's Child, mm-hmm. like basically any 90s music, Mario, who else? 
Um, but yeah, Lauryn Hill is like one of the main ones. But people that I listen to now, um, like in this year that I'm really inspired by, mm-hmm. probably um, Leaf Ward. He's from Philly. Like mm-hmm. I've been in tune with the Philly okay. people. So yeah, um, Leaf Ward, Meek Mill. Um, R and B wise, I like P and D. Party Next Door, oh, lo- Tory oh Lanez. My God, I love Party. Yes, Party Next Door, Tory Lanez. Um, who else? Cause oh my God, I love Lotto. Lotto's mm-hmm. my girl. Okay. Like a rap girly that I really like. Um, who else? Cause I dead wrote this down. I like <laughs> J.I. Prince of New York. Uh, who else? Do I like. Okay. That's that's all I could think about right now. But if you ask me like who I really listen to, I listen to everybody. You have like a pretty diverse list. You have some R and B in there, some yeah. um Oh, rap. if you wanna say like rock, I like Paramore. <laughs> oh my god, Yo. that's definitely Paramore, I like Paramore. Okay. Nirvana. So kinda. they're still like they're still tapping into like your generation. Mm-hmm. Cause we I was listening to Paramore like on my way to school in middle school. Yes. So, Ain't it fun? <laughs> that's that's like in, in the, the real world. world. Yes. Okay, period. Yes. Shout out to Paramore. So when you think about like artists that you would want to collab with or work with, mm. does your favorites kind of transcend into that list or do you have a separate list for people that you would want yeah i think like i'm a very versatile artist even though like i don't have a lot of music out right now mm-hmm. coming soon but i think like me personally i'm a very versatile artist like even with music i i can like switch up the flow or switch up the way like my tone is or like the beats and the genre but th- i think when you say like collab with my favorites i think i could or i think i'm like i think i really could because I could just adapt to like the type of vibe that the song is in. So, mm-hmm. but outside of those favorites, I mean, I could do a song with anybody. Nicki, Cardi, yeah. who else? Who's a big rap girl now? Um, Megan Thee Stallion. Oh yeah, I saw she did the Korean thing. Mm-hmm. That was good. That was that shows like she has versatility too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, who what else? about like New York girls? Cause yeah, I was just trying to think of that. Um, a lot of people say that you remind them of Kenzo. Kenzo B. Okay, yeah. so you already, yeah, so you I know, already know I that. Know. Yeah, I used to love Kenzo. Well, I still do, but mm-hmm. I love uh, Kenzo B. Like when she first came out, mm-hmm. I loved it so much. And Kenzo, if you're like, watching oh. this girl, we we waiting for some more music. What's up, queen? Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I used to love Kenzo B. Um, I don't know why people say they say like my my tone of voice like sounds like her. It's a lot. your delivery. It's your tone and the way that you ride the beat. Yeah, I think because I like fast. I yeah. like going fast. But also, I could change it up, you know, go slow. Like on my Manyan song, like I, mm-hmm. bro, that song, I literally, okay, guilty conscience, I mean, confession. But I actually wrote that on the toilet. I was sitting down like this, and I had to go to the studio like an hour after. So I was uh-huh. getting ready. I was like, oh my God, I have no songs to do. So I was like, okay, let me just write a quick song, and I just wrote it on the toilet. And, then, and it's a bop. <laughs> oh, so you. So you wrote that set on the toilet. So what is usually your creative process? Do you usually have the songs ready when you get to the studio? Oh, yeah. So before, like, when funds were low, yes, um, we had to write it. Well, who's we? Me. I had to write it. But nah. <laughs> don't wait. Hold on. I write all my music by myself. I don't know why I just said we. But um, I wrote all my music, like, before we went to the studio because we had to pay for the sessions. And mm-hmm. it would be, like, a lot of money back mm-hmm. in the day. Mm -hmm. Um, But now, like, more recently, I don't even go to the studio a lot. Like, that's something I really want to do more and, like, going on with my career. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, we definitely had to write. We, here I go. I definitely had to write it before. Um, But now I've been getting more comfortable with writing it at the studio Mm -hmm. um, because um, producers would come in and they would, like, make beats for me on the spot. So, you know, I would never know, like, what type of vibe they're going for or what type of vibe I'm in. So I would just, like, write it with them at the table. Mm -hmm. Um, But, yeah, I like writing my songs before because I like feeling more prepared Mm -hmm. when I, um, you know, do my music. I like knowing exactly what I'm going to say. I like knowing, like, how I'm going to do this type of verse or this type of line like mm-hmm. you know i like it very organized okay and let's just set the record straight now because i know you did kind of slip up a couple times and you were saying we but i yeah, know because i kept writing all your own song yeah because i i kept thinking of we paying for the studio session because it was definitely not me mm-hmm, so. Mm-hmm. so let's talk about you writing how do you feel about like ghost writing and ghost writers uh, yeah. in general 
ghostwriting, um, I don't really think there's a problem with that. Um, me personally, I don't like being ghostwrited for. I never was ghostwrited for because I feel like that just stops your creativity as an artist and it just stops like who you are and what you want to say. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, people listen to everything you say and mm -hmm. you know, like they're influenced by what you do, what you say, like even as an influencer or a rapper, or whatever, role model, whatever. But ghostwriting, um, I mean, if you need help with writing, like, I don't know, but um, it, I think it just like depends on like how good the song is. Like if the song is bad and you have a ghostwriter, like okay, that's a you problem. But if the song is good, you have a ghostwriter, then okay. Do you consider someone who has their verses written for them still a rapper, or do you think that they're a performer? Performer, I think performer, because mm -hmm. rapping like it's like a whole art in it in itself like you know it has poetry in it it comes from like you like your mm -hmm. heart but ghostwriting that's somebody else's word and you're just you know performing it like a ventriloquist kind of but mm. like you know that's a good way to put it yeah yeah so i know that you started off doing poetry as well mm -hmm. um but you mentioned earlier that your dad was rapping do you think that he had anything to do with the reason why you transitioned from poetry to rap no so what made you make that transition um I think because my mom used to put me in piano lessons and I was just so like, like my family is super musically inclined. So I think that had an effect on me. Like my family, you know, they're all doing music. They could all sing, not all, but like a lot of them, a lot of my cousins could like sing and write music and do music themselves. So I think I was influenced when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And also like during that pandemic, because that's really when I started rapping, like right before the pandemic, early 2019, I mean, late 2019. Mm -hmm. um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Late 2019, that's when I really started rapping. And I think just, like, my love for music. Like, at that time, I was loving NLE Choppa, Roddy Rich. Like, I loved Roddy Rich. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what made me, like, really get into um, musical versus, like, poetry. But okay. I still like writing poetry. I think it has, like, a deeper um, meaning or a deeper, um, like, it comes off different mm -hmm. than rapping. Do you have a favorite poet or no? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't really, I don't read poetry. Okay, like you that. write it. Yeah, I write. Okay, shout out to Lisa Hughes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <That was> a <laughs> um, Raisin in the Sun. Um, yep. So, in speaking about, I know you just mentioned Roddy Rich, and I also know he kind of inspired your name now. What? You said Big Steppalani, like, came from, you used to listen to Roddy Rich, and he said something about being a Big Steppalani. You said this. I said that? You said that, yep. A few years ago, you was talking to some lady. Oh, I don't mean to say it like that. I, I really don't. You was talking, like, in one of your interviews, and you were oh. saying, like, oh, yeah, I used to listen to Roddy Rich a lot, and he had a song. And Called Big Stepper? Yeah. That is not where I got that from. I lied, man. <laughs> I mean, it sounded good when you yeah, said it. Yeah, it sounded, sounded good, good, but I don't remember that. So why did you go from Lonnie Love to Big Stepper Lonnie, then? Okay, so I feel like Lonnie Love, that's just, like, a childish me. Like, that's the child version of me. And, you know, when you go through life, like, you evolve. You have different versions of yourself. So that was definitely when I was a preteen. Now, like, as a teenager, I think I needed to, you know, change it up, you mm -hmm. know, step it up, be more mature. So I was like, okay, let me just be Big Step Alani. Like, it just, it's just, it represents me. Like, Big Step in, like, everything you do has to be big. Like, you know, with your confidence is big. Your aura, your presence, like, how you feel is it's just big. Like, mm -hmm. and not big, like, big. I'm saying big, like, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Like, <laughs> no, I got you. So do you think that your name has anything to do with the way that you're received by the public? Like, do you feel like the audience that you gravitate as Big Step Alani is different than who you got when you were Lonnie Love? Yeah, because Lonnie Love, that was like more like child, like mm -hmm. children, mm -hmm. um, people my age back then. But now it's it's like way more of a vast audience. Like now I have ages from like... I want to say even from ages from like nine to old people I like me say like sixty. <laughs> You're not old, bye. Um, <laughs> ages from like nine to like sixty. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah, that that definitely changed. Like, okay. What sixty year old or what? Okay, what thirty year old is listening to a kid? Like you know. No, low key. Like I except mean, like if you're a little RT or something. <laughs> Didi Osama yeah, is like Osama 18, is, right? Didi Osama is young. 
Oh, yeah, we're the same age. No, I'm saying, like, who's really listening to, like, a, a three-year-old? I mean, not a, a three-year-old. A three-year-old is crazy. Uh, a nine, but a no, ten-year-old. But, but to your point, though, I think that there is a very specific audience. that Because mm-hmm. like you were saying, when you made music before, it was, like, believe and fashion sense and, mm-hmm. like, things that would gravitate a younger audience. Yeah. I think that the younger generation now that's making music is catering towards mm-hmm. An older. older audience yeah, yeah, because yeah. that's just what the industry is looking for right and now. And also, so. like, that's just, like, their environment. That's what they know, what they're surrounded by. Yeah, you that's know? true, too. Like, I think it also has to do with your interests because, you know, as a 10-year-old, I'm not interested in money and all that stuff, like, mm-hmm. why she's talking like she's tough with da 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 mm-hmm. you know, or ready for that, like, relationships. Like, I'm not. So that's what I mean by, like, evolving as your character and, being, you know, different versions of yourself. And it's okay, like, something that I, like, this is a little bit off track, but something that I noticed, like, when people get married to each other, like, they, they're not used to being um, married to different versions of other people. And that's why people, like, you know, separate and stuff like that, because mm-hmm. they're not used to the person that they fell in love with. Yep. So I think that's, like, com- something similar to my music. Like, as you grow as an artist, your interest changes, your sound changes, blah, blah. So... That's why I feel like it's okay to switch it up. Yeah, and I think that's a really good analogy that you made because I also feel like in the same token, when you're in a relationship with somebody, let's say, for 10 years, people Mm -hmm. will look at it like, oh, they've been together since they were 18 and they're still not married. But it's like you're experiencing different phases of this person. You can't really say that you know who this person is Mm because you haven't seen them in their full form. So to what you're saying, I think it's really interesting when a lot of people have a lot to say when artists switch it up. Mm -hmm they don't give them that autonomy to do that because they put them into a certain box. When it's like, you should be growing along with the person that you're listening to and allowing them to explore different types of music, Mm -hmm. you know, that they gravitate towards. So that's that's really interesting. Um, So when you think about your career trajectory, I know it's it's short-lived so far, but when you think about your career trajectory versus other people around your age, the D.D. Osamas, the D.Dots, Lil R.T. or like star bands, for example, Mm -hmm. How do you think or do you think about the way that their careers are, like, elevating versus, like, how you feel about yours? Does that make sense? What I just asked you? Um, wait, are you asking, like... Do you compare yourself to other people around your age in this industry? Oh. No, I think when I, when I do my music, I think I compare myself to older artists and people that are, like, all the way up there. Because I think I want... I don't know. Like, even when you guys said, like, oh, she's... She, I, I thought you were, like, 19, da-da-da. Mm-hmm. I think that I, like, even when I'm writing my raps or even, like, just being, not necessarily being me, but being Big Step Alani, I think that I try to, I'm trying to word it properly. I think that I try to compare my, like, music or, not, I don't compare, but I try to, like, make music that goes with older, an older audience versus, like, people my age, I guess. I, I don't know if that makes sense. Is there sense a reason why? No, I think that's just me naturally. Like, let's say, for example, like, I'm a rookie, right? And mm-hmm. you're trying to learn from the, the smartest person in the room. I'm going to do not what it takes, but I'm going to pick up things from them and, like, learn little things and lessons from them mm-hmm. to better myself. So I don't think I can learn that from people that's my age because their creativity is, like, around my, you know, Mm-hmm. age so I think I should learn from older people like for example if you had a mom and she was 16 and you're 16 you think you can learn from her like that's different with experiences and stuff like that but you think you could learn like as much as you could from like a 40 year old mom versus a 16 year old mom I think that it's situational I think mm-hmm. that there are things that I can learn from my peers in the same way versus that I would learn from somebody older than me because mm-hmm. Age doesn't always equate to knowledge or experience, you know? So I think that, you know, it's good that you are absorbing information from people who are older than you who have the experience to kind of lead you down the Mm -hmm. right path. But I think at the same time, there's nothing wrong with taking something from your peers. No, I don't, no, I don't think there's nothing wrong with that either. I'm just saying, like, I think that I don't, I don't necessarily do that with my peers. Mm -hmm. Like, I try to be the example for my peers. I like that. Like, you know, not a follower. Try to be a leader. Mm -hmm. And it's not even intentionally. Like, that's just you. Like, you can't just, like, 
force yourself to be a leader. Like, you have to have that naturally. Mm -hmm. So if I'm taking what you're saying into the right context, you don't necessarily compare yourself. So when it, when I ask you about, like, a, a star a band or, mm -hmm. like, a D or Sam or anything, it's not necessarily, like, they're here and I'm not there yet. It's mm -hmm. more of, like, I'm working on my own thing. I'm not right. even comparing myself to where yeah. they're at right now. Yeah. I think okay. everybody has their own path and, you know, things happen on their own time. You know, God's plan. So I don't, I don't really stress it. Like, mm -hmm. People blow up on their own time, and people fall off on their own time. Mm -hmm. And it's just, like, a matter of time until I get there. Okay. So now, when thinking about money, right, <laughs> I think it's so interesting because, like I said, I was telling you before, I'm going to London, and I was like, that's going to be my song when I'm going to London. Like, the fact that I can relate, you like, oh, yeah, he trying to fly me out to Japan. Yeah. Like, it's, <laughs> it's so much stuff in that Yo. song that I'm like, it's crazy that at my big age, like, I can really relate to what you're saying, but I think it's... The generational gap has closed so yes, much that the situations that we would talk about and the situations that y'all would talk about are so similar. Mm -hmm. So how do you think that is? Do you feel like you're getting, like, the proper 15-year-old experience? Yeah, because at the same time, I feel like I'm still a kid, and I still have, you know, a lot of learning to do. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of kids in my generation think that, you know, I think they think that they're grown. Like, they they think that they're, like, they a 21-year-old person, like, doing the same things. And also, that's what I was saying, like, with the influences that, you know, people that you listen to, people that you're surrounded by. Mm -hmm. I think people, um, like, my age, like, learn off of that or feed off of that. So I think that's why, I don't know, I think that's why the, the generational gap, and I think it's normalized, too. Mm -hmm. Like, it's okay to, I don't even know what y'all be doing. <laughs> like, y'all be doing some crazy stuff. Like, it's okay to... No, you know? I don't even feel like we be doing crazy stuff. I just think no, that no, not y'all. I'm saying oh, to, like to no, I people, see that. Like, I agree it's with. It's okay to you yeah, know yeah, if you feel me. Yeah, y'all be doing a lot. I feel like even my brother, he's 18, mm -hmm. and when I went to his prom, I was like in shock because the girls they was like, yeah, natural BBL, yeah, they had yeah. like they had the drinks, they was outside, like they was. Acting the way that was, me and my yeah. friends would act when we was outside Locky. too. And I was like, wow, like this is not what I was worrying about when I was 15. But it's interesting that you say that you think that the, the inspiration comes from the music and the influencers. Because that's do, what they try to be like. like. Do you agree with that? Like, how do you feel about that though? That's their role model. And I feel like if I'm a role model for people my age, like if I can be one, Mm -hmm. Or even if I am one now, because people tell me that they look up to me. I don't know if it's true, but people tell me if, that they look up to me and they, they love what I'm doing, they recognize what I'm doing. I feel like if I could be a role model to people and show them, like, you don't have to smoke every day. You don't have to have sex every day. You don't have to drink just to fit into, you know, I guess your friend group or be accepted by other people. I don't think you have to do all that. Like, be yourself. Be, be the example that you want to be. Like, mm -hmm. 50, I'm not 50, what am I talking about? Like, 10 years from now, would you want to say, oh, yeah, I, unless you really want to do those things, like, 10 years from now, you don't want to be saying, oh, yeah, when I was 16, I was doing this and doing that. And not to judge anybody's situation at all. People go through things. People have experiences. And I feel like don't do anything that you think would be detrimental to you. I'm mm -hmm. not saying don't make bad decisions at all, but I'm saying, like, you know, be aware, be mindful of what you do. I think it's also just a matter of do things that you feel is right for you and not things and that's that you feel is too. what the, what society wants mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. see. Because that's what happens when you, when you conform too much as you're getting older, mm -hmm. you start to look back and it's like, I actually didn't want to do this. I did it because my friends Cause wanted my me friends to do it me, or because yeah. my favorite rapper was doing it. And mm -hmm. then it's like, that wasn't even me for real. So mm -hmm. I, I like that you just said that. Yeah. Um, so in thinking about role models, though, like, I'm curious, what does your generation think of, like, my generation, for example, like, the older generation? Well, what do I can't talk of other people, like, what other people think. But for me, um, I have older siblings. Okay. And they're, like, I guess you guys' age, like, 25, like, older. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, look, I, look up, I look up to them a lot. So I feel like... I don't know. Maybe that's just, like, a matter of, like, looking up to siblings. But I guess, like, when Gen Z looks up to, I guess, millennials, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, um, maybe that's, like, what they want to be when they grow up or no, something. No, I'm not saying, like, it has to be anything inspirational. Like, you know, some... Oh, I think they try to be like them. Like, you know, with the BBLs and mm. what else do y'all do? <laughs> go to the club. <laughs> like, why, why are there mad BBLs and go people? To the club. <laughs> I don't know. Like, oh, scam. 
Yo, skimming is a big thing. See, this is why I was just curious. I really wanted to see what y'all thought about our generation scamming BBLs. Yeah, I think skimming is a big thing. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I think skimming is a big thing. I think the music is a big thing. Everybody wants to do music these days. Uh, what else? I think the drugs like smoking, um, mm-hmm. with even with like just weed to like fetty, you know, it's like mm. that's big. Like people look up, not not that they look up to, but they really try to do that just to say I like, oh yeah, I I smoked fetty and what? Like, Wait, you know? people are like happy to say that? Yes, bro. Really? Like, I didn't see people that I know that's my age, and it's so sad to see because wow. I'm just like. Even if it's with the gangs, you know, Mm -hmm. that too. Like, people look up to the, I don't know what you call it, bigger, the OGs and stuff. Like, the big (laughs) homies. I'm not in a gang, so. But, you know, like, people my age look up to the OGs, and they look up to, you know, people that they see. So, I guess they try to do what they do. Mm. Oh, probably the polyamorous relationships. (laughs) First of all, okay, <laughs> all right, yeah. I wouldn't even do that. I, do you think that that's a, a generational thing? I think that that's something. Oh, that the oh generational curses are like something I see on TikTok, like probably like beating their kids. Mm. I think that's something that people stopped or the iPad kid thing. That's not the whole thing within itself. But um, I don't know. Like y'all just be chilling. For real. It's really us. We're crazy. Y'all are Gen crazy. Z is crazy. I think y'all are crazy because of the accessibility that y'all have to everything. There were certain things that we just learned by way of growing up and mm-hmm. being around certain things. Mm-hmm. And I feel like y'all are just exposed to everything very early on top of being influenced by the music and mm-hmm. the socials and all of that. So it's just like a whole bunch of Yeah, social comments. media has definitely had a big influence on us. Mm-hmm. So. so let's do a little game. Okay. I'm going to say like things that I did like growing up and I want you to tell me like what your equivalent of it is now. Okay. Okay. So like we wore stuff like rugby, arrow, Hollister. <laughs> Wait, what's rugby? What's rugby? Yeah. Rugby is um it was a variation of polo. And, oh, I love polo. Yeah, and it was basically like we had like colorful, like colorful shirts, and it was like a lot of patchwork tops. So it would be like a co- a collared short sleeve shirt. I feel like I know what you're saying. And it would have like a number in the back sometimes. Or like, oh, I feel like I, yeah, I think I know. What you're and we used about. to put the rugby shirt with the with the polo hat with the juicy couture chain. Low key. Yeah, that that was like That's at the least vibe. that was that was what we <laughs> what we was doing. Um, so what y'all be wearing now? Okay, I feel like now, 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 people, like, girls, I'm going to do girls and boys. Okay, Mm -hmm. an average New York City teenager male would definitely wear either purple jeans or a Mary jeans or K-Subies. It's either those three. We had true religion. Then they got the Health Star t-shirt or a Mary t-shirt or, um, nah, people don't really, not Casablanca. I don't know. Yeah, either Health Star, definitely Health Star, or Chrome Hearts. I love Chrome Hearts, though, by the way. Chrome Hearts, like, hoodie or something. Oh, Essentials, and what's the other one? Denim Tears. Yo. What's next? Oh, for the sneaks. (laughs) Asics now, probably, like, Asics. Um, But people have been, like, doing the, uh, I don't know what those Dior's are called, but you know the Dior's, they're, like, they look like track runner shoes. Like, they look like the Yeezy. like the trainer. You know the the 3Z? The 3Z. The Yeezy, I think it's 700 or 350, one of those. Mm -hmm. I think so. They look like those. So yeah, either those shoes or the um yeah, yo. Those. One thing, shout out to shout out yo. to y'all, shout out to y'all. Whoever is funding the lifestyle, whoever is funding in the <laughs> New York City photo shoots on the red staircases, yes, and the, oh. I see it, and that's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> I'm y'all tired. be wearing stuff that we don't even really be like we consider it like a, a splurge nah. to be wearing half the shit that y'all be wearing. And y'all be wearing it effortlessly in school like it's nothing. In school like it's nothing. You talking about do your sneakers? We had like bro, that's the, and, bro, like, that's the scamming I'm talking loops. about. They be scamming like I'm telling you. That's how they get their funds. But for girls, for girls, I think now, oh, everybody's into the Lululemon sets now, mm-hmm. definitely. I actually want to get one. The Lululemon sets, um, what else do girls wear? Okay, they wear like a jean skirt. It's like a jean skirt. It looks like a Like a the pleated girl. skirt? Yeah, mm-hmm. the pleated jean, girl, I mean, jean skirt. Yeah, probably another health star tee or like, you know, a white basic crop top. Some Jordan 4s. Jordan 4s are, like, a big thing now. Jordans are timeless. Um, yeah, we had our time. And then the hairstyles. Oh, I could tell you. 
First of all, they got the <laughs> bow hairstyles that they do with the like mid ponytail and the back out. Uh huh. Or I think I like boho knotless braids. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I actually jacked those. I like those. Me too. Have well, it in my hair right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, definitely those. Um, what else? Fulani braids are a big thing now. Okay. I think. Oh, bust down, middle part, jet black, 30 inch, mm-hmm. at 15. <laughs> I definitely had hairstyles Yo. in here too. We was wearing like the flat twist in the front with the back out, or we still had like the middle part, side part sewing. We weren't really as versatile. Some, yeah. this was like middle school, like the, the braided mohawks, the little yeah. pumps up, like with the little pins, like up like this. You probably don't even know what I'm I, talking about. I do. Okay. I don't like it though. We had those. <laughs> now the question that we got though, while you were talking about the outfit was, do y'all be calling people out for wearing fake drip? Yes. Like, yeah. Low key, like people be like, oh yeah, Mary's is fake. That's something that's like, a little bit big like they be like oh yeah mary's is fake or you got that with a what's it called third third av see i don't know oh, T- who said T- 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 that was crazy <laughs> <laughs> timo or mary's goes crazy yeah we didn't really i feel like people would say stuff but it wasn't like people weren't as materialistic now for it to really be a thing people like, are definitely materialistic even if it's down to the basic white tees like people really be wearing polo tees all of that to mm-hmm. bed yeah, like, bro. Balenciaga. Oh, Balenciagas. That's a that's a big sneaker too. Mm-hmm. I love Balenciaga. Like I said, shout out to. You. I don't know what <laughs> I would do if I had a kid in your generation. Like yeah. that's really. Imagine the next one. Oof. Get child. your money up, not your funny up. I guess. I guess. All right. <laughs> so we was watching stuff like next parent uh, parental trap. Um, room the parent raiders. Trap? No, like it was, um, I said parental trap. I meant parental control. Um, you know that uh, show? No. It was basically like a show. <laughs> it was on MTV Yo. where parents would choose like two people for their kids to date because they didn't like who their, per- who their mm. child was with at the time. Mm-hmm. So they would like sit in a room with their current boyfriend or girlfriend and watch their daughter or son go on a date with the people that they chose. Oh. Yeah, so we okay. was watching stuff like that. We was watching Next. You know Next? No. Next was, <laughs> <laughs> Next was like a, sh- a date. It was kind of, it was like our version of the 20v1s, like the pop the balloon. Oh my God, please don't get me started on those. That was like Tell me why somebody, somebody invited me to go do a 20v1. You wouldn't do it? No. Like. I feel like you're so young, though, for you. Yeah, because why are you doing that at 15? Like, bro, the 20V1s are be Why are you I doing it in general, honestly, at this point? <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> like, I don't even want to talk about it, but seriously. <laughs> like, if you know, you know. So we had, yeah, so that was, like, our version of, like, the 20V1s. Mm-hmm. Um, and then what else did I say? Room Raiders, which is basically, like, they kidnapped you just randomly, mm-hmm. and they put you all in a van, and you have somebody who's interested in dating. Let's say, like, you have a guy who wants to date a woman, mm-hmm. and all the women are in the van, and he goes through each of their rooms and based on their rooms decides like who he wants to date mm-hmm. so that was room raiders what do y'all be watching now oh power oh yeah power i, I watched power book mm-hmm. one though um like are you talking about tv shows or like just like content in general actually both tv okay so i know tv is kind of like linear yeah, it's tv because, now you know like with the streaming and stuff a lot of right. people watch kai sinat kai sinat is big right on twitch and stuff um are you talking about me personally or like just, just as a general? I mean, you can answer for you personally. So. Me personally, I watch like different stuff, but I feel like now a lot is like the 20 V ones, obviously like pop the balloon stuff. Mm-hmm. Those are mad funny, the pop the balloons. Um, but now I feel like people be watching Power for sure, Snowfall. Oh, Love Island is a big oh, one. Oh, I love that. Love Island. You watch yeah. Love Island? USA. I'm trying to get into it. Oh, you have to get into a girl. This is the best season. <laughs> Keep going. Um, yeah, definitely Love Island. Um, but also you got the Netflix shows too. What do people watch? All American, I guess. All American. Yeah. All I'm American. trying to think of like the shows that you're talking about. Me personally, I like watching. Um, yo, it's weird. Y'all gonna think I'm weird. What? Doctor Pimple Popper. Real? Oh, <laughs> I don't think it's weird. I, it's just yes, not my I don't know. Like I just I watch that or like My Strange Addiction, like just for yeah. funny, just like funny stuff. But I think what's interesting though, and what I wanted to hear is just the difference in the content that's being consumed on oh, an everyday definitely, basis. Y'all you know. literally are watching the same things that we're watching. There's nothing that's geared towards a younger audience that much anymore that actually captures your attention outside of like watching older people on TV or on streaming, because even Kai, he's older, but he's he has a really large, younger yeah, fan very, base. 
Yeah, um, and also like the thing with the attention spans, everybody got a short attention span now. Yeah, that's yeah. a fact. And speaking of attention span, so when we move on to like social media, we was on like MySpace and Bebo. You know, you never probably even heard of Bebo before. I feel like I did. We have MySpace, Bebo, Sconex, yes, Skype. BBM, Skype. AIM. Skype? Skype, we did Uvu. Um, I don't know. If no, <laughs> oh my God, Uvu Whoa. days. Listen, if oh, you know, oh, house you party. Know. They used to do house party. Did you do house party? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was Ooh, before the pandemic. Days, yes, we had a time on there, and then we had like tiny chat, which was like just a whole bunch of people from like different places, and everybody used to just be on their webcams talking in different rooms. Um, but Bro, yeah, oh, Meagle, him. but it got it got like, shut down. Out, yeah, but. Oh, monkey. I don't do monkey, but yeah, people do monkey too. I met my ex on monkey, funny enough. Bye. <laughs> How did that go for you? Well, um, I'm single now. So. Uh, <laughs> same. <laughs> Not my uh, most recent <laughs> ex, but yeah, I definitely did meet my ex, my ex on monkey when I was in college. Um, so what y'all be using? Snapchat? Yeah, Instagram. Snap. Well, Snap's not really big anymore, I guess, but Snap, um, Instagram, of course, TikTok, mm-hmm. of course, mm-hmm. Twitter, or X, I guess. Uh... That's it. Okay. Yeah, oh, we, Twitch, YouTube. Okay. I don't really know any more than that. Oh, that's. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's for gamers. Yeah, we had Snap, but we was using Snap before the stories and all of that. It was literally just send a five second picture to your friends, no streaks, no nothing. What? It was literally just like sending pictures back and forth. So you had the Instagram where it was brown with the. Yes, r- I did. On my iPhone 3G. Or, before I met, oh, wait, what? On my iPod Touch, actually. Oh, yes, I had thanks. YouTube. was I, Like, Instagram was brown. I think YouTube was also, like, brownish, grayish. It was? It, yes. It was a TV screen. YouTube was brown? The icon was a TV screen for YouTube. Yeah. Girl. Damn. I thought she was, like, 23. Like, what are you... Damn, that means I'm really aging myself, dog. <laughs> wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, YouTube was brown in a T. Te- yes, girl, the bye. I don't believe this. I need to look this up. After. Yeah, look it up, but you'll see. Damn, you making me feel so old. No, All right, so, so now when it comes to career paths, mm-hmm. we had the traditional doctors, lawyers, teachers. Bro, what we have none of that. Like, what, y'all, what y'all be wanting to be these days? Definitely um, not a doctor, definitely <laughs> not a nurse. With the amount of drinking y'all do, y'all probably, like, your liver will probably fail. <laughs> but, no shade. No, all shade. Nah. <laughs> but now, I think everybody wants to be an influencer, a rapper, a IG model, a OF star, uh, you know, crazy. that type of thing. A Oh, video creators are good, though. Like, photography been around for a minute, so I actually mm-hmm. mess with um, photography. Mm-hmm. And videography. Then who's gonna take care of us when we get old? Yeah, like who's gonna be the RN? Not me, but who's gonna be the <laughs> next RN? Who's gonna be a physical therapist? Who's gonna get us out know? of our sticky situations when we go to court? Like, I mean, we need... oh, we also have um, the bed. Nah, we have the what? No, I was gonna say the oh, best. like the bedding. Oh, no, wait, what? <laughs> I thought you, I'm like Fandle. No, I was trying to say more careers, but like I don't know because I. I don't want to say I lost hope, but, you know, I'm definitely going to pray for you guys um, because we all need it, actually. Yeah. So when it comes to you, though, what are your what would you like to do when you get older? Yeah. So I'm definitely not going to be rapping forever, but um, I'm going to obviously be a rapper, but Mm -hmm. um, I want to do stuff outside of it. So obviously entrepreneurship, I want to be able to um, collab with different brands. So, you know, like my name's Big Steppa. It might change in the future, but Big Steppa. So I could probably do like sneaker collabs with, I don't know, Nike, Jordan, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, I also want to start clothing because I, oh yeah, that's another thing. A lot of people do um, a lot of clothing now. So I definitely want to get into that with, you know, merchandise and Mm -hmm. et cetera. Mm -hmm. Um, Probably start my own YouTube channel so you could like see my personal life, you know, not only like what they, think of me as like they can actually get to know me more Mm -hmm. um I want to go to college for and get a degree in business administration so that you know I could manage my own business so Mm -hmm. I don't have other people you know touching my money and Mm -hmm. stuff like that you know Mm -hmm. that's very artists get very um you know um they get into very unfortunate situations when it comes to stuff like that so I definitely be more comfortable managing my own money Mm -hmm. um so yeah definitely business, business administration um 
Oh, I definitely also want to be a, I said definitely a lot, but I want to be a realtor. So I want to own a lot of properties, a lot of land, even if it's just land, like I just want to own it and, you know, sell obviously when I get older and stuff like that. I love older that. as in like, I don't know, probably like 35. Mm -hmm. maybe. I love that you have a clear vision for yourself. You still want to go to college. A lot of people feel like, you know, you can't do college to, yeah, and yeah. career at the same time. That's Mama was doing it right now. That's what I was saying. Like, my, I told my mom, like, she thinks I don't want to go to college. That's not the case. What I was saying is I, I don't know if... I, I'm saying, like, I'm scared if I go to college, I forget all about my music and all of this is, like, down the drain. That's why I'm, like, so Well, no, because so these people like Lil Mobile. Like, he's in college. Oh, yeah, he is in he's college. still, like, he bringing the rappers to his dorm room. Like, oh, he's still, yeah. like... Is that even... Huh? Is that legal? You could do that? You could bring whoever you want. Depending oh, okay, on what kind of school okay. you go to. I mean, of course, you can't be doing too much. But, yeah, right, you could bring right. whoever you want into your room. And I think, you know, when thinking about, like, what you were saying, people that you could look up to, mm -hmm. I think he is an example of you could still chase, you know, what it is that you want to do. Mm -hmm. But put your books first. Right. You know, you we can, have can, we fun, can make still... this song, but we're going to make it on college campus right. so that I can make sure I wake up for class in the morning. Right. So I like that you still have that, you know, in mind that you want to go to college. You know what college you want to go to? Um, no, I don't have okay. one set. You got time, so it's okay. But I don't I don't want to go too far out the state. Like, I'm also comfortable just being in state as well, so it yeah. doesn't matter to me. College is college. As long as it's not, like, a lean, you know, mm -hmm. no, nothing happening, you know. I like... Because uh, like, you said you like to be outside, yeah. so I know you And it's not even to... outside, like, being a tire, nothing, like, nah, it's not like that. I just like exploring. I don't like being home all day, sitting in yeah. bed. Yeah, it's a That's shame that me, you though. even have to put that disclaimer out there. Like, niggas here outside and just think you out yeah, here. Yeah, bro, they bopping. say, oh, you outside. Oh. Like, it's not even like that, bro, chill. So, I mean, you do talk about getting flewed out to Japan and oh. all of that stuff. <laughs> so, I can only assume that you've explored, like, the dating world and everything. No. No. No, okay, so, oh, ask me No, question. go ahead, what you was about to say? Nah, I was going to say no, like, I, you know, in my 15 years of living, I never had a boyfriend. Never That's had... okay, girl, don't say it like that. Oh, no, 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 I'm saying, Take like, I never. Take your time, because there ain't shit out here, I'm telling you now. <laughs> I know. Take your time, okay, you got a good head on your shoulders. Thank and you. these boys out here will try to get your head back real quick. So Trust make sure me, yes. you pace yourself, and, you know, I like that, I like that, you, <laughs> yes, wholesome, nice. <laughs> Smart girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, like, I feel like girls my age, like, even, no, girls in general, like, if they don't have a, like, strong sense of self, like, they swear they got to go to a man to try to find that sense of self and find themselves within somebody else. And mm -hmm. it's not even that, just, like, you know. Mm -hmm. I feel like now, like, of course, you know, people are going to have crushes. Like, of course I had crushes. Of course I had people that I talked to. But nobody believes me when I never said, I mean, when I say I never had a boyfriend before. Like, I feel like one that's like, for me personally, that's just not my time yet. Like, I'm not, I don't want that right now. Mm -hmm. And two, like, it's just like, it becomes a distraction because, you know, a relationship is a big thing. Like, you have to put basically your all into it. You can't, like, the way I move, I don't think it'll be good for a relationship because, like, I, I'm not a good texter. Like, I don't text back well. I have bad <laughs> communication skills. Yeah. Um, I get, like, mad pretty tight. Like, I mean, pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I don't know if somebody would be able to deal with all that. And also, like, three, I know I'm talking a lot, but three, I feel like I haven't met somebody that's, like, well, I did, but, like, I don't think I've met somebody that's, like, on the same wavelength as me like they don't think the same as me and mm -hmm. stuff like that so well girl i feel like i'm talking to somebody you are 15 <laughs> yeah. so it, it is okay i think it's crazy that people don't believe you at 15 that you never had a boyfriend i mean like that's just what it is like i said you're smart for not Thank having you. one yet and Thank it you. seems like you have a really good head on your shoulders even when i've been watching like your old interviews and like you and your younger self just talking about yourself and your experiences you seem to be very well-rounded and i have to shout out your mom for and your your family just for raising you the way that they did because you're very smart and you seem Thank to have you. a really really good head on your shoulders Thank um you. so now in thinking that makes me so happy, like, for real. No, seriously, because it's, like you said, well, like we were already talking about, with this generation especially, there's a lot of things that people are looking to do and, pe like, images that they feel like they need to be. Yeah. I like that you seem to be thinking on your own and operating on your own time and not based on what you're seeing around you, because mm -hmm. that's a really big thing. Um, but when you're thinking about, you know, moving forward, where do you see yourself? Are you still going to be dropping these freestyles? Do you have a project coming? Like, what's going on? So, um... 
I love dropping freestyles. I actually like writing freestyles or doing freestyles more than songs because um, I feel like you don't have to um, make a song that, you know, it has to be catchy. Everybody has to get, like, you don't have to make a catchy song, but you could like, just say however you feel, mm -hmm. like, no explanation needed. Mm -hmm. So that's why, I, yeah, I definitely think I'm going to keep doing freestyles. I don't know if it's going to be, like, as much, but probably, like, every Friday or every other, I don't know, something like that. But I'm definitely going to do freestyles. Okay, okay, a little freestyle Friday. Yeah, like, um, get on somebody else's beat, maybe, body mm -hmm. it, and go on without my day. <laughs> what is a freestyle to you? I'm oh, curious. freestyle, that, oh, so, yeah, people ask me, like, do I do it off the dome? Um, I've been trying to learn, well, I've been learning how to freestyle off the dome, mm -hmm. but I'm way more comfortable um, writing it because I like, you know, like I said, like, even when I used to go to the studio before and I had to write my stuff, like, I definitely like, you know, preparing it, like, oh, this doesn't sound good, this isn't, like, I, w I like to change it the way I like, so I think a freestyle to me can be, like, anything without a hook, <laughs> kind of okay. like that, or just, like, even if it's just you speaking your mind on a beat, mm -hmm. um, or just coming off the head. Okay. And your freestyles are they go up a lot. Yeah, like I, try. I I was telling him I'm like, I've seen you on my for you page with your free like your freestyles have yeah. been all down my for you page like for a while now since you started dropping them. I think it was like last year on TikTok that you started posting really? your freestyles. Oh yeah, yeah. Um has anybody reached out to you or anything based on like what they've seen online? Any yeah, big um, celebs? I've had somebody from Sony, I had somebody from um I think Rock Nation, Capitol Records, um, who else? I, I don't I don't know because I don't like I said like I don't read my DMs like that like too heavy or the comments mm -hmm. like that. But I definitely seen like Sony, Capital, Rock Nation. Um, oh, somebody from oh Luca from Gumbo reached out oh, to me. Oh, too. okay, <laughs> all uh, right. Yeah. Uh, who else? Let me find out they gonna put you on a song with D-Thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, something like that. Okay, would you be interested in like signing, or are you still just trying to feel? Oh it out yeah, I definitely be interested in signing. But right now, I I like having you know independency. I like being an independent artist right now, and um, I feel like you have more um, direction. Like you can say and do what you want without somebody like saying when you have to drop this or what you have to do. So mm -hmm. I think I just like that sense of freedom. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I definitely want to be signed in the future. Okay. And now you were talking about acting also. At one point I saw you saying you were acting, you talking about your sister, I think she was acting too. Is that still something you're interested in? Uh, I don't like acting <laughs> okay. that much. I don't like acting as much, but I like, cause I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot to memorize lines and stuff, but mm -hmm. that not that the same thing as memorizing songs and stuff? So it's not really a big deal to me, but I don't think I'm as big on acting as I was when I was smaller. Okay. Like, I definitely wanted to be an actress, but who knew I wanted to be a rapper when I was older? So. Right. Like I said, you know, with the whole evolving thing, uh, I, I don't think that's, like, me anymore. But, I'll like, if somebody hit me up for a movie, like, yeah, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe right. not, like, a whole, like, main character role, but, yeah, I, I definitely do it. Okay, so before we wrap up, I have one more little game that I want to play with you, and it's real, real quick. Okay. Um, but not too long ago, we had um, D Dot here, and I was singing "Hey Y'all." Do you know "Hey Y'all"? No. Oh, oh wait, by Outkast. By yes. Oh, I, yes. I, I I know the song, but I don't know the lyrics. Okay, I was I was. I was mentioning "Hey Y'all" for a reason, but he didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, now that I have you here. I'm going to say, like, a few songs and just see, like, if you know what the songs are. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Um, oh, like, or, oh, song association kind of? Or work? Um, like, you could finish the lyrics or say who sings it. Okay, okay. 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 Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Um, they see me rolling. They hate it. They're trying to get me rolling. Okay. Yeah, okay, I know that one. Um, let me see. Um... Girls, you know you better. Watch out. Lauren Hill. Girl, um, okay. That thing. Um, or, wait, yeah, that thing. I feel like I wrote. Uh, okay. This right here is my. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, who is that by, though? I know it. By? I seen this, this on Vine. Right here. <laughs> on Vine. Yo, I seen this on Vine. This right here is, is my not? swag. Oh, oh, is it Dirty girl? Boy Swag? Pretty boy, oh, swag. pretty boy swag. Who yeah. sings it? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, Buster, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, stop the tape, y'all. Plies? Plies? 
I'm gonna give you one more guess. One more guess. Oh, it gotta be somebody from like down south. <laughs> no. No. Is oh, he? Yeah. I don't think he's from down south. Is he? Okay. Yeah. I know you wasn't about wait, to say. Wait, give 50 me a cent. wait a letter. The letter. The person. S. Oh, so <laughs> Wait, what? New York. Wait, he's from New York City. No, he's not from New York. Atlanta, that's down south. That's, I didn't know he was from the south. south. Okay, I didn't know he was from the south. My bad. Soldier boy from down south. Yes, you you watched Love and Hip Hop. I did watch right? Love and yeah. Hip Hop, but I, I forgot that he was from down south. Okay, um, you make me wanna leave the one I'm with. with nah, you. I don't know that this one. Is you. Okay, that's Usher. Um, um all right, no, a couple no, more. No. Um, this beat is automatic, supersonic. And uh, Sierra, one two step. Okay, period. Yep. Um, and does anybody want to throw one out? Yeah, Just... cause I'm good at this. Let's go. <laughs> I messed up on one, but I'm let's trying go. to think. Let me see what, what if I could come up with um, what songs? Um, I'll think of one more. Last night I. I saw you standing. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Can you do? we yeah. talk? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. I had to lock yes. you in real quick. Uh huh, you heard from the back. Can we talk? They were young. They were high for, for a minute. Girl, I want to know your name. They was hating from outside of the club. They was like, uh uh, as soon as I said <laughs> it. So I'm glad Yo. that you pulled through. <laughs> you said that um, you didn't want to do music long term. So do you have an age in mind where you would like to retire? Yeah, I probably stop at like um, I don't know because like you know Snoop Dogg is still in who else? Busta Rhymes, you know. Mm -hmm. Older they all around Jim. They're still dropping they, they. music. So it, it, Remy Ma still dropping music. So I think like mm -hmm. I'll like really like retire, quote unquote retire, because I won't say I, I won't ever drop a song again, but like mm -hmm. probably like drop. Not as much, but I probably stopped by like. Oh, I mean, you could always be the rapping realtor if you wanted to. <sighs> Who's gonna take me serious though? <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah she's definitely like over the forty. Nikki, Nikki. she's forty-two. She's forty. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, there's no time limit. Oh know. wait, you asked when me like, sense? what are some things that's coming up? Okay, got mm -hmm. you. I forgot to answer that because every time I talk, I go off topic. Me okay. too, girl. Me <laughs> too. <laughs> but um, I definitely have more music coming out. But something really important that I have, I have um, something called the Parko. So it's like a party concert. It's coming out soon. Wait, I'm going to have it. It's like basically my concert. Um, at SOB's on August 14th, you know, okay. we're going to have a lot of artists from obviously New York City pop out, perform their songs, like we gotta have mad people there, so make sure you tell everybody you know, you know, it's gonna be Parko. Fire. I don't think I've ever heard that word before. Parko. Like a party concert. A party co, yeah. I love that, so who's gonna be performing? Do you know yet? Yeah, so we was trying, actually, you know what everybody was saying, we were trying to get Kenzo, Kenzo. B, we were trying to get Zephy Lee too. Okay. We were trying to get, um, Shout out to Zephy, she was here. Diani Dior, okay, a lot she of people like that. But we also have artists like who else we got? We got all ages actually. May Kenzo, we got um, oh a, a younger generation, Eli G's. We got okay. him. We got we got mad artists. So just oh, come I love soon, that. You know, August fourteenth, stay save the date at SOB's. August fourteenth, SOB's. Yes, flyer coming out soon. Okay, oh, I was gonna say I didn't see you post anything. Yeah, I'm gonna about I'm it. gonna it's it's coming out. I have to post it like today. Okay, so. well definitely looking forward to it. Looking forward to everything that you do this year. Thank honestly, you, I feel you. like you have a long successful career ahead of you. Thank you. Um, so I can't wait to catch up with you again. But let the people know where to find you in the meantime. You guys can find me on social media or Instagram at the big <laughs> nah, <let me> stop. <laughs> the big stepalani that's s t e p p a l a n i you can follow my youtube at big stepalani 15 year old artist uh, you can stream all my music on all platforms big stepalani stream my new song manyan out now video coming very very soon and follow my tiktok at the with two e's big stepalani period thank you again for coming lani thank, thank you, you for having Lani. me go cut your mommy bye we <laughs> out <laughs>